tunnel effect. Duplicate the clip, push shift R to freeze frame. Trim that clip. Right click, click new fusion clip. Go into fusion. Mask out the cornea with the ellipse tool. Invert it. Add an image plane 3D node, a duplicate 3D node, a merge 3D node, and a renderer 3D node. Click on merge 3D, add a camera 3D node. Click on the image plane, go to transform. Pull the Z axis down until it fills the frame. Click on duplicate 3D. Add 10 copies. Change the Z offset to negative one. At the beginning of the clip, click on the camera 3D node. Click on transform. Keyframe the Z translation. Scroll to the end of the timeline. Pull down on the Z translation until the eye disappears. Click on render 3D. Click on settings. Click on motion blur. Action zoom. Trim your clips to the beat of the music. Highlight all of the clips. On the right hand side under inspector, turn on dynamic zoom. If you want it to zoom in, click swap. Reveal wipe. Duplicate your clip. Come to the color page, do your color grade. Trim the graded clip to the middle, drag it down. Under video transitions, drag edge wipe in between the clips. Change the angle to 90, add a border if you want. Shadow titles. Under titles, grab a text plus node. Put your playhead over it, click on fusion. Choose your font, adjust the tracking, click on shading. Click on gradient, adjust the shading gradient like this. Come to the beginning of your timeline. Click on layout, keyframe the center X and Y axis. Drag it down, then drag about 30 frames in. Come back to the keyframe, bring it back to default 0.5. Click on spline, click on these arrows, highlight the bottom point, drag this one up like that. Click on this top one, push S. Put your playhead at the beginning. Turn the opacity all the way down, click the keyframe. Move your playhead 30 frames, turn the opacity back up. Zoom through effect. Right click on your clip, select new fusion clip, go into fusion. Hold down shift and press spacebar and type in planar and add the planar tracker. Select the points around the photo or whatever you wanna mask through to. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning. Select set for reference time, then track forward. On the operation mode dropdown, select corner pin. Match up the corner pin to the photo. Drag in the footage that you wanna to transition to. Connect it to the planar tracker. With the media in two selected, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in time and add a time speed node. With your playhead at the beginning, select freeze frame. Click on the planar transform, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in transform. Select the center X and Y keyframe, the size keyframe, and the angle keyframe. Scroll to the end, match up this frame so it fills up the entire screen. Click on spline. Click on transform, turn off everything except for the size. Click on these little arrows right here. Highlight both of the points. Push S on your keyboard. Make your curve look like this. Click anywhere in the node graph. Hold down shift and press spacebar, type in magic mask, add the magic mask. Take the output of the media in one, add it to the magic mask. With the magic mask selected, click on anything that is overlapping the photo. In this case, it's the tip of my thumb track backwards and forwards. With the planar transform selected, hold down shift and press spacebar, type in merge, connect the output of the magic mask into the merge. Now the thumb covers the photo. Jump back to the edit page. Import the clip that you wanted to transition to. Put it at the end of our fusion clip. Click on effects, click on effects again, add an adjustment clip between the two clips. Trim it like this. Then click on the drop down. add my shake plugin. You can get it linked down in the description if you don't have it. I'm gonna turn down the shake speed. Then click on open effects. Search for Lens Distortion. Drag that on top of the adjustment clip. Come to the beginning of the adjustment clip. Make sure all the defaults are at zero. Select the keyframe. Come to the exact point where our transition happens. Let's go ahead and turn this up and then go to the end of the adjustment clip and then keyframe it back to zero. If you wanna add some sauce, go ahead and turn up the size and turn down the dent amount. Text Outline Effect. Right click on your clip Select new fusion clip, go into fusion. Hold down shift and press spacebar and type in magic. Add the magic mask. Click on what you want to mask out, then track forwards and backwards. Click on the mat, turn up the blur a little bit. Refine with the threshold if needed. Copy and paste the media in, connect that output to the media out. Add a merge node. Connect the magic mask to the merge node. After this media in, hold down shift and press spacebar, add a text plus node. Type in what you want, adjust the size and the tracking if needed. Copy the text and merge node, paste it over here. Click on the merge, hold down shift, drag it onto the line to connect it. Click on the second text node. On the right hand side, select shading, select the appearance of the text outline, and then turn down the thickness. Open door inception effect. Check out this video right here. If you guys want to see any breakdowns of anything further, comment down below. Thanks for watching.